what we wanted to do was talk a little bit about some of the books we have to the presentations that you've been watching. So that if something really sparked your interest or struck a nerve with you, there's some other stuff to read, so you could explore that. Um, Okay. We're, we're, we're starting this. <laughs> uh, from yesterday's presentation, uh, uh, Stephen Brown's presentation, and you need a reference on shrubs. We carry your Florida guy shrubs. Written for all of everyone from professionals. Who's in there? A lot of info. Pro. Part about how to pick out shrubs uh, from the nursery, about looking at the root ball, and like that about how to pick the best plants. Uh, also from yesterday, if you watch the presentation on palms, Florida, got a couple of books on those. Um, we have uh, ornamental palm horticulture. Now this book is not Florida, but it's definitely useful. For, she's got on. Um, lots of color photos in here. Is it's the most comprehensive reference I've seen on growing palms. It includes stuff on germination, fertilization, and disease. If you're really into palm disease, I mean, who isn't? <laughs> Come on. Um, we have um, uh, the sort of ifasbooks.com. dot com. Things that you'll find, like you know, that thing. Uh, for identification, if you haven't seen our trees of North and Central Florida, uh, this is a great handy little book. Uh, the entire back section is all palm. So this is a straight up identification. Whole section on palm. M G D D. Can you hold that book up again, please? Hold that up again. Because I couldn't see it. It's very okay. It's hold it up a little higher so I can see what it's called. I okay. Trees in North and Central Florida. Thank you. Hey guys, um, we've had a request that um, you actually pull together a list of books um, that you could send to me, and then I'll send to the participant um, a list, and then that way. Uh, you could say these are the books that we talked about during the conference and your conference code for discount is this. You're on mute. Could you, uh, you guys got muted somehow. Could you unmute yourself, Sarah? We are unmuted. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Sarah, could you say what you said again, please? We uh, have a list of everything we talked about yesterday and today, publication wise, with links that go directly to the bookstore's product pages. Uh, we've sent those lists sent out and then across. Um, make sure you guys get all those book references. If you wouldn't um, mind sending it to me too, that would be great. We'll do, absolutely. Thanks, Sarah. Of course. Um, if you uh, if you want the presentation on protecting Florida's waters, which is a very important topic for extension right now, um, I want to point out just a few books. We've got a book called Rivers. Uh, it profiles every significant river in the state. It also is very interesting you know, the ecological condition of the river. Uh, if a river, for example, one of the ones I was looking at earlier, uh, paper then that kind of decreases the recreational opportunities and the angling opportunities for that river, as well as, of course, impacting the environment and the plants and animals. Um, also, we have Florida's living beaches. I'm mentioning this because there is an entire chapter called The Hand of Man, and it's all things that you might find on the beach that are man-made. So it's everything from fishing nets, plastic toys, mylar balloons, those kind of things that you may end up encountering on your beach walks. Um, also, I saw there was a really dynamite presentation on Florida natives. So some of our favorite books we showed you yesterday on natives, I'm gonna reiterate the 
native plants for Florida gardens by people from the Florida Wildflower Foundation. And I'll reiterate Jarrett Daniels' new book on gardening for pollinators. It's called Native Plant Gardening for Birds, Bees, and Butterflies. And this is specific for the Southeast. Some of our other ones that are specific to Florida. This one's been out several years. Some of you have it in your library already, but we use this all the time at Plant Safe. It's called Florida's Best Native Landscape. Yeah. 100 entries. And a lot of these plants are see at local and nurseries, garden sales. Um, and then for some more specific topics, we have a, a pair of books by Craig Hugel. We have Native Plants native Florida plants for shady <laughs> landscapes. So if you have a lot of shade on your land, this will help you pick the right plants. And then really wanna encourage wildlife. We have native plant landscaping for Florida wildlife. And this will tell you what to plant and how to plant it to attract birds, pollinate and other creatures to your yard. Could you um, hold them up a little higher? There you go. Sure. Good. This is the uh, yeah. one for um, this that one here one. is the one for the Shady Landscapes, and these are both by Craig Hugel. Uh, he is a member of the Native Plant Society, I believe. Uh, also yesterday, if you uh, caught Dr. Enlow talking about invasive plants, this deck here called Invasive Non-Native Plants You Should Know, it's a little pricey, I won't lie. It's a good reference though, if you're out and about, um, trying to identify plants. This came from our Center for Aquatic and Invasive Plants. Uh, it actually, you can write on it with a, like a grease pen or a dry erase marker. So you can, there's a space on everything for field notations where you can actually take notes when you're out and about identifying plants. And I also want to replug because I love this one so much and it's brand new, plant this, not that. This will help you avoid invasive species when you're out at those plant sales and nurseries and help you buy the plants that are good for the Florida landscapes. And uh, Dr. Wilson mentioned that yesterday. Hey gals, awesome. what's, what's the discount code again? MGV2021. Thank you. Yeah. That's backwards. You're awesome. <laughs> uh, and then this morning, okay, so this morning, if you uh, were in uh, Holly Abiel's uh, about climate in Florida, if you want to know about Florida climate, this is a good overview. Florida weather and climate. Uh, it looks at all of our various uh, influences here on our climate. And then, of course, the, the big topics like, of course, hurricanes and uh, tornadoes and those horrible things that we deal with all the time here. And then if you want to apply principles to your landscaping, climate-wise landscaping. Uh, this is co-written by Jimmy Stiebel, some of you know. Um, this is, again, this one is not specific for Florida. This is uh, landscaping techniques for the entire country that you can apply uh, so that you are looking at your landscape with an eye towards climate. Mitigating climate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, not much we can do about it. We can help the impacts of it. Um, oh, are you ready oh, yeah. for that one? Oh, I'm about edible just a little bit. I saw that there was a Florida Friendly Landscaping with Edibles class. That looks awesome. We uh, have the Florida's Best Herbs and Spices. And by the same author, but with a different cover, Florida's Best Fruiting Plants. Both of these have really interesting, some of them are native, some of them are exotic. It'll tell you in there which ones are which. Both books include growing maps, conditions, um, how to harvest and use them, how to cultivate uh, in this fruiting plants one. Boy, there are some fruiting plants that I have never heard of before in my life. I did not know that I was so ignorant about fruiting plants. Yeah. <laughs> um, this won't help you too much with the uh, getting them into your garden, but if you're interested in edibles, we have a couple of other about wild edibles. Uh, Florida's wild plants. And by the same team and in a similar vein, there's Florida's incredible wild edibles. 
Um, both of these go into identifying and some of the traditional ways that these wild edibles have been used. Um, I've learned from the uh, Florida's Edible Wild Plants book that you can make beauty berry jelly and jam and that there are some ways that you can actually prepare and eat pokeweed if you catch it at the right time and treat it the right way. I have not tried it. I probably won't. It really doesn't sound great, but <laughs> it's really interesting to know. <laughs> and just a few more things. Um, I, uh, oh. I know Dr. Kern was speaking on invasives. We have a identification guide to the frogs of Florida to help you identify those bufo toads and those Cuban tree frogs. Uh, and then also to tell the native frogs that you want to let go and leave, leave be. We also have uh, from Dr. Hodge's uh, lab at UF Entomology. Identification guide. You would have where it looks like it's best. So these are the bugs, critters, and worms that you might start seeing on um, on your plants. And if so, let the Florida First Detectors Program or Extension Office know, because we need to try to get ahead of these pests. Uh, just a few last things for your afternoon, depending on which track you're going to go. Uh, Brooke Moffis is going to speak on um, ground covers. Uh, we have this excellent book called yeah. Native Wildflowers and Other Ground Covers. This is another book by Craig Hugel. Um, it is very lovely illustrated. It's got over 300 color photos, mentions over 200 native plants, everything from wildflowers to ferns. Um, so if you're interested in maybe taking a different path rather than a lawn for ground covers, that's a, that's a good thing to check. Uh, Dr. Dale is going to give a very interesting talk on landscape pests. His book, Helpful, Harmful, Harmless, is one of my favorites. Uh, it's a great reference to start identifying the little insects and organisms in your landscape and to tell the difference, which ones are good, which ones are harmful, which ones you can just completely ignore because they're not going to do anything. Um, if you're really into identifying uh, bugs on your plants, we also recommend the stink bug identification deck. Very specialized, all about stink bugs and what they call true bugs in Florida. And last but not least, uh, Mary Salinas and Suzanne Spencer will be talking about wildflower conservation. So um, if you really are into wildflowers, I'll re-mention, we talked about this yesterday, the Wildflowers of Florida Field Guide from Jarrett Daniels, which is organized by color. We have this interesting folding guide called Florida Trees and Wildflowers. There's not a lot of information on here because it's a pocket guide that you would take with you out into your walks and your hikes and things like that to identify things on your way. And then if you're really into wildflowers, look at the size of this thing. This is called <laughs> Florida Wildflowers, a comprehensive reference, and it is indeed comprehensive. It is, uh, well, you could use it as a doorstop if you ended up, you know, running out of uses for it for a book, but you won't. you won't. It's over 500 pages. It's got an amazing amount of information in here. Um, if you are into wildflowers, this is indeed a comprehensive reference. <laughs> so those are some of the books we have that tie into the topics and the presentations you've been watching the last few days. Um, I hope you've been learning a lot. I'm sure you have. You've got some really fantastic speakers and topics. Um, love to hear it. Yeah. Uh, Questions? Any books you want to see again? We will be putting all of these in an email. You will be receiving that shortly. Yes, we'll send out all these book lists that we've been talking about and links to the product pages so you can check them out. Um, some books I've checked out from the library and then turned around and bought my own copy because I was using it so much. Um, and some of these references you'll definitely find at your local library as well. Um, that is me talking about books. We're going to move on to logo stuff. Well, I'll turn it over to Sheila. I'll try to get on chat and answer some questions if I can. Yeah. And uh, thanks for listening. Thank you, Sarah, for our book update. <laughs> As you can tell, we're winging this. Hey, um, hey guys, do you have um, 
Do you have anything on roots? Uh, Chris Wilson had something on the rhizosphere. Did you already say that while I stepped away? No, nope, we thought about that earlier. We pro we showed that yesterday and we wanted to show it again today. Thank you for bringing that and up. we're glad you brought it up. That's the one book we don't have on the table. Um, actually, Barbara, Barbara Edmonds brought that up. I can't take credit for that. This one, Soil Science for Garden. Yeah. Oh. This, this is what you want. Would that be a good book club book? Have you all taken a good look at that? I have only started reading through it. I have to say that um, this is probably meant for someone with more gardening knowledge than me. But okay. not you. <laughs> but is it, it, it kind of, is it too, is it really textbooky? No, I don't think it's textbooky, textbooky at all. Okay. If you read, yeah, you can pick a chapter and read a page or two and actually get some use out of it. Okay. It's a very, I like it. Um, like I said, we, neither one of us have actually started this one. We'll send you a review copy so you can check it out. It might be a great selection for the book club. Okay. Well, I will uh, return it if it doesn't all work out. And do you <laughs> have the, what's the, um, what's the uh, order number for the mushroom playing cards? Oh, that is, let me grab it. Eight, zero. Oh, 820. 820 eight, mushroom eight, playing. Zero equals mushroom cards. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And those are actually listed in the open section of our website. So if you go to our website, we have categories listed for IFAS, Extension, and Master Gardeners. And on the very front page are just general things that are for anybody. Mm -hmm. And the playing cards are on there. Some of our plushies are on there. Resources. Okay. Um, and what about um, uh, that blue visor that you have on? Is that still available? Yes, the blue visor is still available. I wanted something that was a little rakish to go with the jacket. Right. Uh, oh, I want to know and get it on there. Yeah, and it literally is just the IFAS extension visor. My thing is, is it's got the Velcro back. I'm less likely to pinch my hair and pull it, and it's something I can throw in my bag. Okay. Okay, but that sounds cool. That one's really nice. Um, um, I think somebody it, else had a good question. Oh yeah, the chat. I'm unable to see it. What's the um, So uh, yesterday, Sandy Wilson shared Hartman and Kester's Plant Propagations Principles and Practices. That book. Um, and so anyone, someone's asking if you carry that. Kathy Butcher is asking, do you carry Hartman and Kester's Plant Propagation and Practices? Mm -hmm. I. I think that book is $250. That is actually what they consider more of a textbook type of resource. And you're looking at a higher dollar amount on that. What we have from our people here is the propagating fruit plants in Florida. Yeah. It literally goes through all the techniques from grafting to layering to budding um, to setting out seedlings and how to start everything. Yeah. Um, this is yeah. very practical. Yeah, that's a that's a good practical book. Um, the yeah. one that uh, that Hartman and Kester talks about, you know, stratification, scarification, uh, cuttings, how much hormone is needed, how much humidity is needed. It's a real cookbook of uh, plant propagation. It's at a very high level. I'm um, not that I'm. I mean, it's just th that price point. I know y'all don't carry stuff at that expense. Right, right. And once you get to that type of price point, you really are dealing with those professionals and those volunteers that have gone the extra mile who want to deal with heavier stuff like that. Right. And uh, they're just happy to carry. I just, <laughs> as far as right. books go. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. They are happy to carry for sure. We, there's a couple of other books. There's actually a pruning guide by Gil Nelson, I believe, that is amazing, but it's got a $250 price point. Um, we're working with extension agents and hoping that somebody will put out a tree pruning guide as a fold out. Similar to the laminated fold outs that we have that can just give you a breakdown on the type of tree and what time of year and where to make your cuts. Something simple, but getting that stuff to fruition does take some time. Sure. Sure. Yeah. sure. So if you know any master gardeners doing presentations on pruning, I'd love to see their content. 
I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Untap market here. But no, um, and we still have the Milan shirts, the gray, that navy color gray, the one you were wearing yesterday, and the maroon. Um, we're starting to run out of certain sizes. If you don't see it online, give us a call and we'll double check for you. Um, the same with the other thing. I mentioned the moleskin jackets. We still have those in stock in select sizes. If you don't see it, give us a call or an email. We'll verify that we have it in stock and then let you know. Um, also, if there's something on our website and you don't like the look of it, let me know. If we can send you a picture and show it in a different way that you're happier with, we do. I just found a copy of the plant propagation book by Hartman and Kessler on Amazon. Paperback, yeah. a little over 20 bucks. Oh, okay. Ooh. So if people you really want one, they can find a cheaper version there. Great. Thank since you. Since you all don't carry it. <laughs> I wouldn't send them that way if it was if you had it. <laughs> right, right. And we're also finding out too that we also deal with a lot of research material. So the things that we have that we've done in-house or that we've done with other people get to a point where we need a new information. We want to verify everything and make sure we're still giving you the complete information that you deserve. Um, so that usually takes our turnaround a little different. Um, but yeah, no, always contact us if we can find something like Amazon's become a really good resource for that type of stuff. Sheila, um, people are asking to see the logo where. Oh, yeah. So what are we looking for as far as the logos? Probably shirts, shirts and hats and that sort of thing. Uh, cotton shirts. Ta-da, this is the jacket, only because I was cold this morning and I've been wearing this one, so this one's probably mine. Um, as far as the new logo material goes, we have the polo shirts for women that are on our website. We currently have all four colors available. So the main thing is you're looking at them with the extension logo and the new Master Gardener Volunteer is complete on each one. So you're only buying the newest logo. This is the baby's coast. Okay. And for men, um, I don't know if we have a lot of men with us, but their colors this year are the coast blue. So instead of just the royal, men have the option of the coast. And they're going to have the option of the new apple green, is what I'm calling it, or Kelly green. Mm, Kelly green's more of a. More of a. That's, oh. more, that's more of a Kelly green. Mm. More. Um dress shirt for men's short sleeves oh and we do have a short sleeve men's dress shirt too and like i said everything's been updated with your new logos and the alt standard for the ladies sorry yeah, no no worries is the blue jean shirt I love this one. It's just now getting into the season where if you've already ruined the sleeves on yours, we do have more in stock with the new volunteer logo on them. And I currently have in stock for ladies. If you guys are doing presentations and need something a little more dressy, we have the three quarter sleeve. This is a Devin and Jones. It is a button down, all even wasted, be tucked in or wore out. And it comes in the pink and the lime green. Could you guys speak to uh, how the sizing is running on those? If they're pretty true to size or a little small? Okay. That sort of thing. Uh, and Jones, this brand, I feel like it's pretty true. I have several shirts uh, for them. Um, pullovers, dress shirts, button ups. I'm pretty happy with the way they fit and the way that they wash up. They do not seem to which is a big deal for me. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm pretty happy with it. I would prefer on the dress shirts. Uh, I don't want to have to iron anything. So these, you are, do have the wrinkle, <laughs> these do have the wrinkle guard. If you're taking them out of a dryer and they're still lightly warm, hanging them up, less Shaking likely them, to have right. to iron them. Um, the cool and dry shirts tend to run true to size. I go maybe I go a size up, frankly. What I wear in cotton, I go one size up in the cool and dry. They're made by the same people. So I don't know why the deal is, but I wear one size bigger in the cool and dry than I do in the cotton. I used mm -hmm. to feel like the cotton was was big for its size. 
So maybe you're right. Maybe the cool and dry is true to the size and the cotton is big. I think these run literally true to size. So if you're an extra large, this will fit you like an extra large. There will okay. not be a lot of baggy space or hanging or anything like that. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing too. I tend to go up a size because I don't like the sausage look as I call it. Um, <laughs> and as far as that, the t-shirts are back in stock as well. The first round were the monogrammed, but these are the screen printed men's and women's Heather cotton. At the extension on the back, on the front and the back has the full size volunteer logo. And these are very comfy. These are t-shirts are, are they 100% cotton? No. no, I was wrong. They're almost 37% cotton, which means you're not going to get a lot of shrinkage, but I think they're going to shrink. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. If you throw this in a hot dryer, it's going to go down half a size. But I think that's more because of the material. It's a very soft, what they call a whisper material, meaning that it's a softer knit and it's not tightly woven. So it gives you more breathable allowance. Oh, the new tote bag. Okay. Somebody Sheila. Oh, yes. Before we go on to the tote bag, on that um, T-shirt, is that a men and women? Yes, we There's have it in men's and women's. And this is a small ladies. So as you can see, it goes tapered in. Yeah. And the men's, this is a large, but the men's are a straight cut. There is no tapering to them. So I would say the women's t-shirt is a former fitting t-shirt. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. A lot of you have the Master Gardener tote bag. We did get it back in stock, but we got a smaller size. Okay. <laughs> it, it doesn't have the zipper to it, but it does have the flat bottom. And we thought this was better for laptops and better for your presentation materials than something that was a little bulkier. Um, and if you don't like that, you need some color, you can always just get the Ithis. I have tons of these in stock. I love the orange. I have it in orange and blue, and I wear it every single day if I'm allowed to. But Guys, yeah. somebody's asking about butterfly books. Do you have any butterfly books? Yeah, butterfly books. books. Yeah. Um, yesterday, we showed off the Jared Daniels Vibrant Butterflies, the coffee table book that's just loaded with pictures. Something new that we have, it's on our educator section of our website. We actually have a pollinator kit now. So if you're doing anything with school gardens or something in Mass at the Extension Office, the pollinator kit comes in a drawstring bag and comes with a bug net rubbing plates so kids can make their own identification. It actually comes with bug jars. So you can catch stuff and actually look at it in detail. And it comes with a fifth grade curriculum so you can use everything incorporated. Um, but the books, oh, she's got oh, just a few. We do carry the Xerxes Society who is nationally recognized for their butterfly conservation efforts. We carry their book called Gardening for Butterflies. There are some plant recommendations and things in here, but this is a national book, not just Florida. For Florida specifically, Again, if you're out hiking, uh, identifying, we have this folding guide called Florida Butterflies and Pollinators. There is, like I said, it's a laminated fold out guide. Um, and there is a small section in there on caterpillars as well. Um, the Vibrant Butterflies by Jarrett Daniels. Let me show this one off again because it is just so darn pretty. This one has beautiful co full color pictures throughout. Jarrett Daniels is quite the photographer, I'll be honest. And I think this would make a really nice gift or coffee table book. There are some care tips in there. Don't get me wrong. It, it, there, it goes over some plant recommendations and things like that. But I like that one mostly for the pictures. Old standby. And then our old standby is our Florida Butterfly Encounters set. This is for small booklets. Um, it's $8 before your discount. So it's very reasonably priced. And your booklets go over, there's an identification guide, a guide to butterfly gardening, um, and uh, some uh, 
Butterfly watching basics. And then there's a checklist so that you and your project team or just you on your own, you and your grandkids can go out in the field and check off all the butterflies you've seen and where you've seen them. Um, I kind of like that idea because I, I like checking off the butterflies that are visiting my pollinator plants. Be like, oh, I got this one and I got that one. And it's kind of like my own little version of bingo. Maybe we can come up with a butterfly bingo. <laughs> I like that. But yeah. And that's a great thing too, especially when you're dealing with just, I just like seeing the flutter. So trying to chase it down through the yard to figure out what you're looking at is kind of fun too. And it's the best way to get exercise sometimes. It's the only way I get exercise. Um, but no. Any other questions? Because I can't see the chat. Um, Andrea Carter said she received my Devin and Jones Milan shirt. I think it's a bit more tailored and dressy than what is shown in the picture. Very nice. Is that the one I was wearing yesterday? Yes. It is uh, the 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 weave on that is a very classy uh, classy fabric. Well, we can thank Sarah for that pick. <laughs> Good job. See, told you. Thanks. I I liked it when it came in. I'm hoping we'll be able to get it in restock too. Yes, I want it with a different logo. I'm gonna swoop in and show off the mushroom oh. stuff one more time because we had people ask. This was our book, Common Florida Mushrooms by Dr. Kimbro, and uh, our mushroom playing cards for fun help you uh, enjoy your fungus, uh, well, enthusiasm, I guess. <laughs> and one oh. more thing I'm going to mention now, this isn't on the website yet because it just got dropped off, but uh, Norma Samuel has uh, and team have redone the Munchie Adventures. Um, this is a 4-H project book, so it's if you're working with kids ages 10, uh, 8 to 10, this goes over um, nutrition and fitness, but also gardening and things like that for, for that age group. It's a 4-H project book, so it's just it's full of activities and things like that for young people to do. Um, just wanted to give a plug on that. This is gonna be up on our website by the end of the week, but since it just walked in the door, we haven't had a chance yet. <laughs> um, somebody's wondering what the um, what the butterfly four set was again. Is that Jarrett's four set? Yes, Florida Butterfly yeah. Encounters. Um, it's this guy here. Um, that, that let me just say something for the, the price on that. And for what you get, it is, we should all have like 10 of those in our car so we can just pass them out to everybody we know that loves butterflies. We get a lot of references for that at plant sales from the general yeah. public. What we, for the price on that information, we do tell people it is a great value. Yes, I guys, have a, is, um, right. go ahead. Oh, I have the ID portion right by my back door. I use it all the time. Um, and what I like too is that there are pictures of caterpillars in there for almost every butterfly he shows. So I have found five different types of caterpillars in my garden this year, and I'm just ecstatic about it. <laughs> and telling <laughs> everyone. <laughs> God. Um, do you all have um, Becky Jordy's book, uh, Zoe's Mission? We, we don't actually. Um, right now, I believe you have to buy it directly from the Nassau County Extension Office, but we will reach out to them and see if that we if we can get copies to sell. I think it would be beneficial to have it available like for sale through our website so more people can get a hold of it easier. Guys, let's make that a goal for us to do by the end of 2022, please. Okay. Yep. Uh, I think Taylor Clem can help make that happen and uh, we will just we'll, we got it we got to get that book out there. It's important. I agree for sure. So yeah, um, I think that's and then somebody wanted to know if the 20% discount is extended to the um, to the uh, logo wear or is it just books? Um, for what we're hearing, it's been working on the logo stuff as well. OK, great. Mm -hmm. yes. If it doesn't call Sheila. <laughs> okay. um, and Fran wants to see the book on Florida Palms again, if you have it at your fingertips. <clears throat> we have the um, this is the uh, disorders and diseases quick reference. Good job. Uh, and then this is the ornamental oh, yeah. palm horticulture. This is the the big tome with everything in it. 
Fantastic uh, resource. And doctor, they have uh, overlapping authors. So doctors Broshat and Elliot did the deck as well as contributing to this book. Right. You know, Dr. Broshat and Dr. Elliot are, are married. Oh, really? I had yeah. no idea. Well, that's pretty cool. Isn't that a cool? <laughs> They're a power, palm power couple. Palm power <laughs> couple. <laughs> and if, if you need it, we also have that palm diseases and disorders deck in Spanish. Oh, neat. It is. We don't have a lot of, of our gardening references in Spanish, but we do have this one. Hey, listen, when does the um, MG code uh, ex oh, expires the 19th, huh? Yes. Of November. So of November. Got weeks. We, okay. we tried to give you a month to use it so that. Oh, thank you, guys. Um. <laughs> well, it's not like everybody's able to catch everything these last two days. So you're going to have people going back, rewatching these presentations, and we want to make it. sure every something that they're really looking forward to. So yeah, yeah it's going to go through of November. Yes. And yeah, if you come into the store, let us know that you want to use the code and we'll make it happen. And please come on into the store if you're in Gainesville. <laughs> Great. Bring peanut butter. It's peanut butter challenge time. <laughs> Take peanut butter to your extension offices. Peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> That's all. That's all. <laughs> Someone who eats a lot of peanut butter, it's very necessary. But yeah, uh, we still have uh, women's polos in the purple and the lime green. They're still available. <coughs> um, but yeah, the safari hat, I think most of you picked that up yesterday who wanted it. I still have some in stock. Um, when I run out, I don't know when the next batch will be coming in. So it may even be after the first of the year. So if you want the safari hat for you or for someone else, snag it now. I'm hovering so I can oh. show you the apron that I have on. This is the apron with the logos. It's got two pockets in the front so you can stick your uh, your snippers or your gloves in here while you're walking around doing stuff. It's got a fully adjustable strap around the neck and around the waist. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I do like this hat. I'm glad I bought this hat. Yeah. Oh, we know y'all got so much packed into here. Anything else that we could possibly hit for you guys? Um, it's about it. Oh, she wants, uh, somebody wants you to show the blouse you have on. Oh, the shirt I'm wearing? Oh, but, but it's a secret. <laughs> this is one that I am trying out. We had ordered it and we weren't too sure if we liked the way it was y'all can give me some honest opinions this is a 2x it is a poly knit fabric um you could be a little daring i guess but we're not going to go there but yeah it seems very nice i like it for indoor weather i tend to be a hot natured person so being inside in the air conditioning i tend to get cold especially in the winter time and this has just been very nice slightly longer in the back it's made to be untucked i like to wear stuff out so um i don't know i think it would look really good in the navy there were other some options of charcoal gray and there was a burgundy which i don't know if i like the idea of the master gardener logo on with the burgundy um but yeah we can look into this if you guys like this just drop us a line and let us know if you're similar to something like this we just don't know how the colors work with some of you guys being outside in the greenhouses or at plant sales what's more comfortable for you but yeah, okay. I don't remember what brand this is. It's Devin and Jones. <laughs> uh, I know we're not getting all of your chat questions. We'll get back to you later if we don't get to them now. But somebody did ask about um, junior master gardener programs. Uh, so I did want to mention, uh, Sheila mentioned the pollinator power safari kit. And we talked about the build a bug kit yesterday, which is the, the game about putting the bugs together. Um, we have the Growing Up Florida Friendly, which uh, that's a Master Gardener created publication. That is at the printers right now. We sold through our first printing already. Um, there was a great response to it. We're really excited about that book. It's uh, called Growing Up Florida Friendly, a kid's guide to the nine principles of Florida friendly landscaping. Um, there are two Florida friendly kids, Harriet and Russell, and they join Miss Lori with a beautiful flower. 
to learn sustainable practices. Back, back in stock by Thanksgiving. Um, I mentioned the 4-H Munchie Adventures Project book. Um, there's also a youth naturalist field guide instructor manual. And that is a partnership between Extension 4-H and the Florida Master Naturalist Program. And it's a, designed to be used for uh, ages 10 to 13. And it's a curriculum of 10 lesson plans and field trips. Um, and that is in production right now and should be out within the next few months. So those are some resources uh, that we have or that are coming out soon if you're working with children or doing kids programs. And also on our website, we've talked about the mushroom playing cards. We also have wildflowers and trees and saltwater fishes. So please do some fun. Christmas shopping. <laughs> with your 20% discount, do some Christmas shopping. Also gives hey, me you know what, um, Diane, Easter's order arrived a few minutes ago. Hey! Yes. Can, we're can, really trying to get everything out as soon as you guys order it. So we have a daily pickup that goes out every day. So if you can get us an order, but usually before three o'clock, we can get it out same day. Um, and then hope UPS has no issues getting to you. <laughs> can can you show the colors for the cool and dry shirts? Um, I can't do pink. That's not my color. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. We have those. Nope, I got the where's my coast? There's the ah, the purple. And I think the logo looks good on that one very much so. And then for ladies, we also have the coast blue as well. Just because I love that color. I thought it would match better. Um and that way, if everyone in the office wants to wear the same color for a particular event, you have that option. And then, of course, we have the lime green. We got a lot of orders yesterday, so if we're out of stock and a size, we're like, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and I do have, if you want the cotton version, I actually do have a cotton, what they call corn flour, in the majority of sizes as well. And like I said, this is a cotton, and I would tell you that it runs slightly large, um, but it's cotton. It's durable, it's breathable, and some people like it better than the cool and dry. But it does run a size larger, I would say, than the cool and dry. So you'd probably want to go down a size in that. And thanks so much. We got so many orders yesterday. You guys are amazing. Thank oh. you so much. If we start to run out of your size or something you don't see on the website, just shoot us an email or hit the contact us part of our website, let us know, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, and if we're out of stock on something, we can reorder it for you. And uh, we will work with you individually on, on accepting that coupon code out of date if we need to. We'll work with you, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for presenting. If you have any other questions, yeah. let us know. We're, we got we're a so few glad more minutes, I believe. We'd rather do Q&A, but well, they'd have to. The contest winner. Oh, somebody wants to know, if, do you all ever get sleeveless shirts? We don't actually. Um, that's something I'm sure we could order. For and you, you know, but I don't, I, I don't think we're talking about tanks here. I think we're talking probably like a collared uh, golf shirt. Oh. Mm -hmm. that, that might be Pat? nice. Pat asked that question. <laughs> Sorry. Did you? No, that's <laughs> that's a good idea. Absolutely. And we are looking for uh different clothing strategies um, and uh, we are working like I mentioned yesterday we're working on a survey so that we can get your direct feedback on what kind of clothing items and branded items you want so that we can we can have the stuff that you want on on hand and not the stuff that you're like meh boring <laughs> and I think we've tried sleeveless shirts in the past and I think there was a problem with the actual design of the shirts they were very flowery and then with that logo on them oh, I don't yeah. think so maybe if we try something in a solid color, I think that's a good idea. You yeah, know, I, I'm a fan of golf. that golf of the golf polo kind of the yeah. quick dry. That yeah, uh, that would be great. Hey, uh, is your phone number still 392 uh, 1764? Yes, or 1-800-226-1764. Say the 1-800 again. one 800 226 1764. Okay. We are here uh, 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. We do have a few newer staff members. 
So if you, uh, we do have new staff members, so, not a few, we do have them. <laughs> You can hey, and listen, um, somebody was asking about gardening pants. They think that would be fun. Gardening nice. pants, you know, and then somebody else mentioned a vest like um, and I think what they're talking about is like one of those uh, gardening vests that has pockets and, you know, yeah. things to put your pen and your things like you almost like a photographer's utility vest or a fishing vest, but not, you know, but they do make them for gardeners or something like that. I would totally be into that. The whole group of master gardeners walking around in that full of pockets bulging on plant sale day with all <laughs> their tags. Or when we go to botanical gardens when we're stealing, I mean, when we're getting cuttings and stuff. <laughs> it's just a clippy. It's just a clippy. It's just a leaf. Yes. And uh, 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 Camilla Perez says she loves her overalls. That might be fun. And guys, I don't know, have I ever shown you my succulent skirt? Let me see. Oh, you have succulents yeah. on your skirt. Look at that. How cute is that? These come in uh, overalls, too. <laughs> overalls are for a select audience. Oh, that's, oh yeah. Oh, I don't uh, know. Oh, yeah, I would rock some overalls. You can rock uh, overalls. Lisa Sanderson oh. says that they have vests uh, down in Sumter County that they wear. And you know where they put the logo on that is in the back, on the back, oh, which is yes. cool. So you can point at someone and say, see that person right over there? They can answer your question. <laughs> yeah, that's what we look for when customers come to us and ask questions, we're like, that's a master gardener question. And they're right over there. And then that's someone else mentioned a, a fleece, a zip up fleece or a zip up uh, fleece vest. Those would be cool too. Mm -hmm. You've had those before, haven't you? We have yeah. occasionally spot here and there, depending on what we can get from our vendors. But we did carry a, a gray fleece vest for men. Um, the photography and video team seem to be the ones that snapped that up because they needed pockets for all their lenses and, and chargers and things. So I can see gardeners needing all those pockets too. Right. <laughs> um, somebody asked if you're going to be at the Kanapaha Open House this weekend. I, I know where you're going to be this weekend, but why don't you guys go ahead and say where you're going to be? Uh, we'll be at Lake County. The Master Gardener Volunteer Plant Sale is a Saturday 8 to 12 at the Discovery Gardens in Tavares. Um, we will be there. We will be at the uh, Alachua County Master Gardener Orientation next Wednesday. Wednesday the 3rd, we will be at the Central District Palm Training at Sumter County. And then later uh, month, we will be at the Florida Ag Expo uh, at, is it Wynama? Wynama. Um, and we just have been receiving invitations. I know this is getting ahead of the game, but um, mm -hmm. January, they should be a WISE Wildlife and Invasive Species Conference. Um, and uh, February, Seminole County will have their gardening expo. And in March, Marion County will have their big ag and gardening expo. So we're hoping to hit all of those plus more in the spring. Yeah, get your dates in now. We're filling the calendar for next spring already. Yes. That's great. And anything that, um, if you don't see it online, drop it in the chat, uh, chat or send us an email and we'll check and get it back online as soon as we can. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a couple of other things. We'll send them out. We'll let y'all know as soon as we get them up and going. Yeah. Yay. Good deal. Oh, somebody found the succulent coveralls in the chat. Oh. Good. Drop a link in the chat. Yes. I need to know where that is. <laughs> they did. They did. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, my skirt was expensive, but you know, when are you gonna see um when are you gonna see coveralls in or a skirt in um covered with succulents? It doesn't happen very often. Lisa Sanderson said she would definitely buy a fleece and can't wait to see you uh at Sumter County. Yes. yes. Looking good. forward to it. Yeah, that's always a good time. Even for the people that go that don't like palms, and you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Corinna, the um, the discount code is in the chat box here. We put it in a bunch. Uh, it is MGV. Go ahead. Oh, MGV 2021. And the moleskin jacket, is that on the website? 
Uh, we uh, were running with that, uh, thinking that it was true, but maybe it's not. It's not. On the I'm going to have to go take care of that here this afternoon. Okay. Oh, it might be that it's under extension and not under Master Gardener. Ch check that way. Oh yes, did have it for one, and it was so popular. We wanted to bring it for Master Gardeners. If you're not seeing it on the website, drop me a line, and I'll find your size and reserve it and let you know. Please send you a link or whatever. You know, guys, yes. this is just so fun hanging out with you. Maybe we should do this. <laughs> You know, just like pick a day and have a day with the bookstore, a virtual day with the bookstore. You know what I mean? Hey, that's yeah. not a bad idea. That'd we could do that. I'm, yeah, just get me started on our new publications and I bam, I'll fill up time. Yeah, yeah. I made <laughs> yeah. a comment yesterday to our uh, communications team that I think me and Sarah are ready to take this lunchtime presentation national. I don't well, know. We, you know, you said you wanted to be a home shopping network star or a QVC star. I think you definitely uh, could do that. Yeah, I think I need some gator jewelry. I'm ready. Uh, I need an IFAS pendant. We'll see what we can do about that, maybe. <laughs> Give us yeah, a little yeah. master GV little bobble hanging off or something. We'll have yeah, to see what we can do. I love it. I love it. There All right, we well, we're getting close to the end here. Um, so I appreciate uh, I appreciate y'all. Um, I'm gonna oop. There's the uh oh. We got the we got the succulent. Uh, oh no, those are veggies. Veggie coveralls. Uh, veggie pants. Let me see the veggie pants. <laughs> we're looking. We're looking. You gotta look at those. Oh oh. oh. Right on. <laughs> Just really understated, kind of subtle. <laughs> I like it. Yep, yeah, it's but, something you know with the black t-shirt or a white t-shirt under, you would just be like the bell of the ball in those with some cute little gardening clogs. Okay, somebody else has got some other ones up. No, this is from Duluth Trading Company. Let me see what these look like. Oh, these are the Duluth coveralls. Oh boy, <laughs> this is good looking right there. If I can copy that and post it in. That's funny. Uh, oh, the circle jumpsuit is back ordered, by the way. Oh, See, we really? Just, we just need to think about it and it's going to go crazy. You know what? <laughs> we have always been fashion setters. <laughs> Everyone's always been trying to catch up to us. We can't help it. That's just the way we are. Well, I so. can say going to some of the Master Gardener conferences and stuff. There are some stylish folks out there. That is for sure. <laughs> yeah. And you know, the thing about the master gardeners is that they accessorize. So it's not just the outfit, right? It's the necklace. It's the hat. It's the bracelet. You know, that's the shoes. <laughs> the earrings of little trowels. Or the right. brooch. What they're going to talk about that day. Yes. Love it. I love it. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Lisa wants to know what sizes do you have in the light blue uh, cotton that corn flower, Sheila. Uh, oh, small. I have small, I think it's, medium, large, okay. extra large, two X. I have that in all sizes. She's got it all sizes, Lisa. Yeah, we do. Cause that's all ladies. Looks like uh, we might have to start to order extra small little things. Yeah, I probably do. I do not have it in extra small. If you're looking for an extra small or like a bigger size. I have an extra small. Let us know. Oh, we do have an extra small in stock. All right, we have extra small cotton in stock and Master Gardener Ladies corn flour. And I'll order more, so if we need them. But yeah, no. So I have the corn flour. The cotton tends to stay easier in stock because it's easier to find a supply for that. Um, a lot of the cool and dry, I think, is just currently caught up in logistical issues. Um, everything says it should be here by Christmas. We will we'll see. Okay, Lisa said Saber and XL, um, and Barbara says, well, they styled the ladies woven hat shown yesterday. You have a woven hat? You have like a straw hat? I had a you sun remember? Bump. Yes, but it was slightly turned up. Oh, 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 oh. yes, that one. No, I not that one, not this one, not the loose one, which is very lovely. That and one. functional, but the other one. This one was more fitted. It has a draw, your own little simple tie in the back. And this one has the Master Gardener logo in the front. But yeah. Oh, I got you. The rake is turned to the angle. I was like, 
trying to channel <laughs> Marlon D Marla Dietrich. So I've heard rakish twice in the last two days and it's been <laughs> out of your mouth, Sheila. <laughs> Looking good. I read a lot of old fashioned writing, okay? And we always okay. have a rake person up in there. There's always a rakish gentleman or watch a lot of noir stuff. <laughs> Uh, that's the, despite it being noir, that's the sun bonnet. Uh, uh, well, you gotta be changed. And this one I have on is the fishing hat. It's got the little tie that goes under your chin. So if you're out like um, on the way. boat or if you're mowing your lawn, like top speed, mm. this will keep your hat from blowing away. <laughs> yeah, that is more functional with the chin strap. Um, this one, I mean, you can tighten it so it fits really well. Um, but yeah, in a good strong wind, this may blow off. But I like it. It's very, it's cute. How about it's sassy? <laughs> it is sassy. There, yeah. Turn it to the angle. Tip it down a little bit. Good. And we are the ball cap. We know some of you, the guys just, they got to have the ball cap look. We've had problems getting uh, the logo on there where it looks good and you can read the letters. So right. we are, uh, we are still on it. It just... I'm a little slow going, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Um, Y'all, um, it is um, 12.58. I'm going to encourage you to remember to leave this session before you go to you, the email I sent yesterday to click on your next session. So you have to leave first, okay? And our next sessions up are... Um, Let's see, yeah, starting at one o'clock, it's new UF uh, cultivars. And um, that is new, F, new cultivar releases from UF with John Butenmuller and ground covers as lawn and other Florida friendly landscaping trends. Remember that the soil health uh, was canceled uh, because of an illness. So um, your choices are new cultivars and ground covers as lawn and FFL concepts. So um, Sarah and Sheila, as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Um, uh, yeah, had a great time. If y'all have questions, let us know. Yeah, thank you. Go learn lots. Okay, we will. Thanks for the discount. <laughs> yeah, please. MGV 2021. Use it. MGV 2021. Thanks, ladies. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.